oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. You know, sometimes I get so caught up in meditation, I forget there's a camera right in front of me. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you five ways how meditation can help your mental health. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Grant Jones and I help people grow physically, mentally, and spiritually. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down there. That way you can stay updated on all new videos each week. Today's video, we're gonna talk about five ways how meditation can help you and your mental health. So many times in life, guys, we focus on looking externally for answers. We forget to look internal to ourselves. And today I want to show you guys ways that where you can connect with yourself and make sure you're getting rid of bad habits and bad things to make sure you're growing into your greatest version. That being said, let's get started. All right, the first way that meditation can help your mental health. First, I would like to say that with meditation, it helps you start up your day. Now, I know it's hard for us because I'm a millennial, so the very first thing is I want to pick up this phone when I wake up in the morning or turn on the news but if you can make it a habit to make meditation your first priority it will help you set your day why why because when you meditate it allows you to relax your mind and you get to think of all the things that you want to focus on so meditation I like to think about all the things that I'm grateful for whether that's waking up in the morning whether that's being able to walk around and smell the breast air or if it's just reading a book or having a roof over my head for my head to lay down. All these things I'm grateful for and it'll allow me just to focus on those things at that time. Living in the present moment. And also I like to look at things I can also let go. Things that aren't serving me anymore. No bueno. <laughs> I like to think of things that like aren't serving me such as food, uh, mindsets, anything that's not helping me get closer to my goals, whether it's being a career oriented goal or if it's being something where I want to see myself in five years, I need to let go of that. Anything that doesn't serve me anymore, I need to let go. So much time we spend watching TV or watching the news, a lot of that is negativity and you don't want that negativity to spread along your whole day subconsciously it's affecting you and we don't realize this have you ever like just watched the news and something bad happens and then people are like you're all right are you, are you having a bad day and we don't realize like no nah, i'm all right i didn't even know i was having a bad day all this is happening subconsciously and once you start being aware of what you are intaking the things that you're absorbing information you'll be in better state to have a better day all right number two the second way that meditation can help you with your mental health. It will help you organize your mind. I know for me, when I have a lot on my mind, it makes it very hard for me to stay focused and get the tax done at hand. Like I said before, meditation allows your mind to relax, but not only that, it allows you to observe your thoughts. And the key to meditation is to just observe them. A lot of times we feel like we have to observe and then we have to engage with them. But we need to realize that we are not our thoughts and that it's okay to think of something bad and then just let it go or think of something good and let it go. Meditation allows you to stay in that mindset and stay in the now and just focus on the present moment. It's a very powerful thing because if you worry too much, you're going to have anxiety because you're worried about your future. Or if you're depressed, you're probably thinking about something in the past. But these things can't exist when you live in the present moment. So make sure that your mind is organized because when your mind's organized, it allows you, it allows your thoughts and your actions to be aligned. And when those things, when those two things are aligned, we can accomplish great things in this lifetime, but that's only when you have a clear vision, which happens when you organize your mind. So make sure that your mind is clear and you have that clarity. Number three, 
the third way that meditation can help your mental health. I like to call this one escaping the mind, or as I like to call it, mindcation. A mind vacation. A mind vacation. We take physical vacations. How come we can't take mental vacations? And a lot of people are looking for that escape in life. And sometimes we unfortunately take those negative escapes. This could be drugs, this could be alcohol, this could be work, etc. There could be a lot of things that people try to escape to. Meditation is a healthy alternative to those escapes and it helps you focus. When we want to um, escape, we are always looking for an exit. But sometimes to escape, you need to go within. And I love looking at exercise as a form of meditation because anytime you can distract your mind, that's escaping it. So a lot of people use music and exercising. Music's a great way to escape. Whether you're playing the instrument, whether you're singing, whether you're just dancing or just vibing. I like to mix it too because a lot of times you can use guided meditations with music and you can also use exercise with music. And the thing about the beauty, the beautiful thing about using exercise and meditation together is you're doing multiple things so your mind can't focus just on one thing when you're multitasking. So it's distracted with exercising and the music and it allows your mind to get free. When you exercise, you release endorphins and that sets your mood. And that goes back to my first point, the way you set your day with meditation because a lot of people consider exercise meditation. That's why they do it in the morning because you release those endorphins, those dopamines, and it allows you to feel a certain way. You feel good about yourself and that will carry on for the rest of your day. So make sure that you find your type of meditation, whether it's dancing, whether it's singing, whether it's exercising, running, find something that works for you and something that you resonate with. That way you can have a great day. All right, number four, the fourth way that meditation can help your mental health. So number four is connecting with yourself. When you think of connecting with yourself, imagine you making an appointment to see yourself. Like nobody knows you better than you, so why wouldn't you find time to connect with yourself? When we take time to actually check on ourselves, we learn more about ourselves and we can grow even more. Personally for me, when I took the time to find more about myself, I started realizing that I had certain thoughts that kept on reoccurring. And one thought I could not get rid of was pizza. Pizza was always on my mind. And the more I meditated, I was like, okay, let's figure out why I am addicted to pizza. Why do I feel this type of way? And the more I realized it, I found a correlation. I found a tie. I eat pizza because it reminded me of how good my childhood was with my family. I get this certain feeling when I eat pizza, it reminds me of being with my family, enjoying those special times. But as I began to figure out that it wasn't so healthy for me eating a lot of pizza because I had stomach problems growing up as a kid. So I like pizza, but pizza didn't like me. So I had to find a way to figure out how to disconnect from that tie. And I'm plant-based now, and so I figured out through meditation that, okay, the reason why I like pizza so much is because it reminds me of my family. I can still have that connection with my family and get rid of, get rid of that cheesy pizza, that cheesy pizza. I can still figure that out. So that's one thing I had to figure out by just connecting with myself. And it could be other ways for you as well. If you're uh, addicted to alcohol, if you uh, can't stop smoking, there's, so there's something that's rooted and it's your job to figure it out. We pay people all the time externally to figure out our problems for us, but all the answers lie within. You just have to connect. So make sure instead of going externally for answers, you are going inward and you save a bunch of money. <laughs> and the last way, number five, on how meditation can help your mental health is, it will help you go internally instead of externally. Now, similar to my last point, when you meditate, it will help you go internal to find those answers. So many times in life, we look externally for the answers without even asking ourselves what the solution might be. I love 
being able to meditate and find ways to learn more about myself and figure out why I'm doing a certain behavior. We all have so much to give to this world and now more than ever is the perfect time to go inward and explore the gifts that we've been given and learn how to use them to help other people. So I encourage you to go inward instead of externally and make sure that you are trying to grow and know yourself more. That way you can help somebody else along their path and their journey. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Mental health is just as important as physical health. And once we learn how to balance the two, we'll be in better shape for the future. If you like this video, give it a like and a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Love and light. Peace.